Hi, this is Scotty Gomez. And one of the main questions I always get from all those years playing, from my old teammates, just people that have come up to the state of Alaska, is how do you cook Alaskan red salmon? There's plenty of ways. Being from the state, we all got our own recipe. We all think we can cook it the best. But here's a quick way to cook that I'm gonna give you some tips and hopefully it helps. The number one thing we always do, no matter where you're at, no, we got a thing going on right now. You always wash your hands. You want to let people know you are washing your hands. So if I happen to be somewhere, switch the conversation to yourself just to let everyone know that you are washing your hands before you cook their food. Always important, always important. Probably the most important thing. All right, right here, we've got some beautiful red salmon, Alaskan salmon, coho, whatever you call it in Canada. We like to call them reds. One of our favorite fish here. Need a pan, some olive oil, some salt, pepper, any fixings. So we'll start right here. It's a beautiful cut. You want to take the scales out because it lets the juice and everything flow more into the fish. If not, it breaks the fish up. So you want to do that. So we'll start right here. Put a little olive oil. Let that soak in. Rub it in. It's a nice little easy, nice little easy. A little seasoning, a little salt, get that fine going, with the pepper. Like I said, people do it all different ways. There's just a quick way to do it. Beautiful, beautiful fish, beautiful. Now, frying pan. Nice little olive oil, let it get nice and hot. Once when it starts breaking up, that's the key. So we grab our filet and we're gonna put this in the oven after. So we got the oven going at 350. Here we go. Grab your fish, put it in. And when you're putting fish in around people that are in front there, put it in. Give it a little, you know, make it look like you know what you're doing, even if you don't. We're gonna cook that up. It's gonna go pretty quick. Look at that. Don't be scared to move the oil. And to check the fish, you want it to be room temperature. You know, nice fillet, nice, you don't want it too moist because then that's gonna add, it's gonna cause it to look white. Let the fish go and you can always check it with your clean hands. You can feel that there's no bubbly. Now, if you put your fingers on it, it's popping, popping, popping. That means the fish is too moist. It still works, but there. So you just let that cook. And don't be scared to just let it cook. Like, like Gordon Ramsay. You got a drink? Take a drink. Take a break a little bit. So right there, we're just going to let that cook. Get that oil in there. A lot of people, depending on how you want to eat your fish, I like it really rare. Uh, my mom, she likes it super tough, and so it's all Whoever you're cooking for, it just depends. So we just place that right there. And you can see how the color will change, so halfway, you know exactly where you're cooking. Heat that up a little bit. I always feel it. And no matter what, it's always gonna have a little pop, snap, crackle pop to it. But in that case, when the popping's done, that's when you know it's almost ready to put in the oven. Yeah. Remember, let the pan do the work. You don't need to do the work. It's always important to grab something in your hand to make it look like you know what you're doing. Even if you're not touching the fish, don't touch the fish. You know, hit the pan or something, or you know, just kind of move your arms around. It just people, people, like I said, people will think you actually know what you're doing while you're cooking. So this is coming around nice. Get that oil in there, all that fat's getting in there. Like I said, there's plenty of other ways to do this. You can flip it off. If you take the skin off the bottom, it's always important to cook it on both sides. Right here, I'm just gonna show you how to cook it one side. Look at that. Freshly caught. Then, on the top, right here, add a little seasoning. What we're gonna put in the oven, put a little seasoning on the top. Depends what you like. Just a little salt and pepper. So we season that on the top. As you can see, let the fish do the work. We see that's almost cooked, so now we're getting ready to put it in the oven. See that? It's got a nice base to it. It looks firm. It's a healthy piece of fish. It's fresh. You can always tell the difference. I know a lot of my East Coast friends, 
say they won't know the difference between fresh Alaskan salmon or farm fish, because they're idiots, but that's all right. But as you can tell, just by looking at this piece of, piece of fish, the beauty, the texture, it just sings, it sings to you. It's supposed to sing. I don't know what song, but it's supposed to sing. <laughs> okay, so now we got it halfway. Kind of hot on, we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna let it just cook. What see in there? Always like fish with some, some lemon. They're only gonna go about two to three minutes. Two to three minutes, depending on how the person likes their fish cooked. We have a ghetto plate that we have here, tokelat. That's a Mexican pattern, I guess. So as you're waiting, there's plenty of things to do. You can clean the kitchen. Always make it look like you're active as a cook, as a chef. That's what I find the best ones are. Gordon Ramsay's constantly always moving. Um, Eric Whitlock, our uh, chef for the New York Islanders, always moving, always moving. Try to look busy. If you gotta have a drink, a beer, just, you know. But always look busy in the kitchen. That's why a towel is really important, just, you know. And either put it down here, flip it over, whatever's comfortable to you. Okay, depending on the, the thickness of the fish, that's your indication. This one was a pretty big one, so we left it two or three minutes, four minutes, depending on how you like it. Comes out. So let's slide right off. Look at that. Jeez. Yeah. I like lemon, depending on what you like. Pour some of that lemon on. Finish your plate up. If you really want to impress someone, you know. They do on the TV shows. So as you can see, Perfectly cooked, maybe a little over, but that's fine. Mmm, mmm. Skin's got that nice, crispy potato chip kind of feel to it. Pretty simple. It's one way to cook Alaskan salmon right off the bat. Mmm, mmm. Bang! What's my cooking thing? 